Does bourbon really change in different temperatures? Let's find out. What's going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new episode. Today, we are going to have one bourbon at three different temperatures. We have room temperature, fridge temperature, and then freezer temperature. And I really wanna know if colder bourbon actually helps it or hurts it. Now, a lot of people say that it hurts it, but I wanna be the judge of that and let you guys know my opinion on colder bourbon without ice and freezer temperature bourbon without ice. Before we get into the video, I wanna thank you guys so much. We just did the 2000 subscriber giveaway and we're growing like crazy. We just hit 2200 subscribers and that's because of you guys. You guys are absolutely crushing it right now and I can't thank you enough. At this rate, we're gonna hit 3,000 subscribers, I, I'm imagining at the by the end of February. So if we could hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of February, that's my new goal. And that would be absolutely awesome, but that's only up to you guys. Also, we're at nine patrons, and I just started the Patreon group. So if we could hit 10 patrons, maybe in a week, that would be absolutely awesome. So make sure you guys go check out the Patreon link down below. We're growing over there. We got the Discord chat. Everybody's talking in there daily. And uh, we do some fun, fun things over at the Patreon. So make sure if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you go check it out. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, so we have our room temperature poured. We have our fridge and we have our freezer. I had the glasses also in the respected areas. As you can see, the freezer glass is nice and frosty and the fridge one is chilled. Whereas the freezer um, bottle, it has some really nice ice crystals going on and the fridge one is nice and chilled. I have the beautiful aged and ore sample bottles that my fiance got me for Christmas for traveling. And uh, I put half ounces in each of them so let's go ahead and pour these in their respected glasses. I also wanted to go high proof on this to see if the higher proof tones down a little bit more than a, a 90 proof or like a lot of guys say that they like to put in the fridge and stuff like that. So that's why I went with a high proof such as the blue note. I don't want the freezer to get too warm. So without further ado, we're gonna start with our freezer bourbon and see if those flavors are muted. Nose, it's really, really interesting. We're gonna go to nose to the uh, room temperature. Oh yeah, right off of the bat, completely muted. Like those, that that nose is completely just settled down and like stomped into the dirt. Let's check the fridge. The fridge is, it, it's the same style, just it's not as like, like this one's six feet under, this one's an earthworm at the edge of the grass where this one is high and bright and flying high like a bird. I want to get into the, the mouth on this guy. That's very interesting. That's really, really interesting. The first thing you get from the freezer is burn. I get a lot of oak off of it as well. Like the, the alcohol, burn, and oak. I'm not getting a lot of sweetness where I always get sweetness off of this blue note. Let's see what's coming out of the fridge and see if there's anything different. Fridge, I'm getting a little bit more sweetness. The sweetness is starting to come out a little bit. And then the burn is also subdued compared to the burn coming out of the freezer. Let's check out our room temperature and see if this one compares to the fridge. That's so nice. It, Wow. I wasn't expecting this at all. I really wasn't expecting this at all. To find that the bourbon that is room temperature has the least amount of burn and stays the sweetest the longest. That's so interesting to me. I'm gonna go through these again. The burn is the first thing that comes out of that on that second sip as well. The oak, like the oaky bitterness has subdued a little bit and that sweetness is starting to uh, come alive. I guess it's because it's thawing out a little bit. It's not as cold as it was. Again, this came out at zero degrees. Um, so with that said, this is, I mean, it's, it's thick, it's viscous, but that first thing that you get is an alcohol burn. That's so interesting compared to the room temperature. That's sweet and 
caramel and uh, butterscotch. There's there's maple syrup. There's brown sugar that's coming out of this glass. That one, you're not getting that at all. And then going back to the fridge. See, it's, it's more vibrant and more... It's, it's got a lot more going for it than the freezer, but it has nothing compared to room temperature. It really has nothing compared to the room temperature. I thought that maybe, just maybe, I would find something that I liked a little bit more than the room temperature in the fridge, but I'm not finding that at all. I'm not finding that whatsoever. This The room temperature, hands down, is better than the freezer bourbon and the fridge bourbon. Now I wonder, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see me do this again with a low proofer, maybe like a, a 90 proofer or a 100 proofer, because this is bottled at 116 proof, so it is hot. And I thought that putting that in the freezer or the fridge was going to knock down that uh, kick from the alcohol a lot more than it did but what it really did was enhance that alcohol burn and mellow out those flavors that are coming from this beautiful bottle of bourbon and made them so so unpronounced and blew that alcohol burn up that it just made that one very unpleasant at the very beginning this one was tolerable but then going to the room temperature the burn and the flavors complemented each other to where you could enjoy it more than something that was chilled or frozen in a way. But that I, I'm, I'm very caught off guard on this one, guys. I really, really am. That's very interesting. Don't let me be the one to tell you what to do. But I'm going to give my two cents and say, don't throw your whiskey or bourbon or whatever you drink in the freezer. If you're drinking it for flavor and you like it chilled, put it in the fridge. Don't put it in the freezer. From what I just experienced, I would let you guys know that the burn overcomes the flavor profile of that bourbon or whiskey. And it's not enjoyable out of the freezer. The fridge, it could be. I, fi I found that it was, the flavors were subdued uh, a touch and that burn wasn't as explosive as it was in the frozen. But going from room temperature, I can tell you this after this experiment, that it's the way to go. Now, I'm not, I wanna do another experiment with 90 proofers and I also wanna do another experiment where we add water and we add just ice cubes into the bourbon to see if chilling it down slowly helps or diluting it and proofing it down immediately bring if that like changes the bourbon up completely as well now i know it does but i want to i want to do the experiment personally because i haven't done that and i want to bring that to you guys this was a really fun experiment to begin with where we took frozen fridge and room temperature bourbon and saw it to see which one was the best and i'm going to let you guys know right now from my experiment that room temperature is the way to go before we end today's video though i have a package from a really good friend andrew who has been a long time subscriber and a patreon he sent me a uh a care package that he requested that i open up on a video so here we are i'm going to open this up and uh, we're going to experience what he sent me together so here we go. All right, so here we go. Let's find out what is inside of here. Nothing is broken in here. So without further ado, let's get inside the bag. All right, bottle number one. Rebel 10 year weeded at 100 proof. That's awesome. Thanks, Andrew. Nice, nice, nice. What do we have here? Remus Repeal Reserve 6. Awesome. I've been looking forward to that one. I've seen that one on the shelves, but I've always seen it for $110 to $120. I don't want to spend that money on it. That's just an astronomical amount of money for an MGP bourbon. 
that I, I personally can't have a taste of. So if that's really good right there, I might end up picking up a bottle of it. Next up, we have Parker's Heritage Collection, the Orange Curacao Finish. This is 110% seven to eight year old. Wow, Andrew, thank you so much for that one. Holy cow. I know you just picked this one up too. Thank you so much for that. Oh my goodness. Let's see what else we got here. All right, next up we've got, okay, all right. We've got the Blanton's Gold at 103% La Maison du Whiskey pick. Wow. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you so much for that one. What do we got next? Evan Williams 12 year, 101 proof Japan bottle. Dude, you are crushing it with this, this sample set that you're sending me. Holy cow. That is amazing. And last but not least, we have one more here. And this one, <laughs> Blanton, straight from the barrel at 129.8%. Thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And to the patrons as well, Josh, uh, Mike, uh, Zach, guys, thank you. And, and uh, Joe, Salty Lettuce, thank you guys so much for the samples that you sent my way as well uh, over the past couple of weeks. I can't thank you guys enough for them. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments how you personally enjoy your bourbon. Do you like it room temperature? Do you like it in the fridge? Or do you like it straight out of the freezer? Until next time, this has been Nathan with the Everyday Drinker. Cheers.